After a huge downpour, morale was quite low. We were soaked and chilled, so we went to see the former owner who had a gift for us. Though there is a huge language barrier, one thing we all clearly understood is that whiskey will warm you to the core on a cold day. We were so grateful for the drink and for the door she gave us. And it's going to go right here. I'm in the farthest back corner of our property and the bike lane is just to my right here, right down here. There's the bike lane and the horse path. And with the trees, the leaves gone this time of year, you can actually see um, quite a beautiful view in the distance. The French countryside, it's lovely. pit right here which is a nice distance from the house and uh, I don't know if we'll keep it there or not but I envision um, family and friends all camping out here and us having a good time and enjoying uh, the bike path in nature and I needed this day Yesterday was so tough. I, it was hard for me to be here. It's so nice to see the sunshine, it makes a difference. Thank <laughs> you. 
What happened here? We ran out of, uh, well, we had a longer span because we weren't allowed to dig where the water was. So we didn't have the, the tranches, the support beams long enough. So we found these in the house. We have a ton of wood in there and they were long enough. They worked perfect. This will be doubled up, super strong. Uh, I had to notch it on the end there to, to line up. Um, but yeah, super solid, super strong, a little bit thicker. So this is the longer span and this is a little bit thicker. So real good. And at the end here, we had to end it at another post because we're actually gonna do the fence a little L shape there um, because there was too big a gap. It didn't look right. Yeah, we couldn't so. go down further because of the roots. So yeah. this was this was the easier option. Yeah, looks great. Getting there. We're almost done. Tomorrow, I think, we'll be uh, finished, and then all we have to do is create this little uh, uh, little alcove for their water access. The sky here is an ever-changing canvas. Before we left the US, our good friend Cheryl gave us a beautiful drinking glass with the words, always under the same sky, etched into it. Those words continue to bring us comfort as we embrace France and this house as our new home. our Toyota right now. Give us a hello, Mr. Beck. Hello. <laughs> Can you drive? Yeah, just about. <laughs> So from here, we're going to put in some hedging um, and in the meantime, a temporary green screen, but do a little planting along here for a little more privacy for the courtyard area. And we have this apple tree will fill in beautifully for the um, summer. And there's just a little spot here that you can see the neighbor. Other than that, and once the trees that we plant fill in, um, and of course we have to be mindful of the electric line, this should look really nice. Um, along here. So this is the north side of the house. And yeah. Feels, feels good. The, the properties needed to get divided. It was important.
Bacon is so different here in France and I was craving some good old fashioned English cut bacon. So we headed to the local English butchers to stock up on the bacon. And while we were there, we picked up a few other goodies. Very Christmassy. I was particularly excited about today as we were going to meet for the very first time some very special guests, Tracy and Buda from French Farmhouse Diaries here on YouTube. I had been watching them renovate their old French farmhouse back when we were in the US. Budo is a master carpenter and master craftsman. He made his first box sash window when he was 13 years old. The man is absolutely loaded with knowledge and very generous with sharing it. He gave us so many great tips and excellent advice for moving forward with our project. <laughs> and Tracy is a dab hand with fabrics and interior design and has learned many other skills over the years helping Budo, especially these past three years they have been renovating their farmhouse. We chatted for hours and it felt like we'd known them for years. We did have an epic hosting fail. Our camp stove malfunctioned, so we served barely warm tea and coffee and the patisserie was closed when we went to buy fresh croissant and pastries for them. Despite all that and the nasty weather, nothing could keep their warm and friendly spirits from shining. They also brought along their adorable dog, Jesse. Our hearts were full when we left for the day and we can't wait to go and visit Budo and Tracy on their homestead. The sun was shining so brightly today and we smiled as our thoughts turned to Budo and Tracy, who we know would also be so grateful for such a nice day to get a lot done on their homestead. Like sailors in the sea, there's a certain camaraderie amongst those who work the land. Okay. It's so weird when you trim these apple trees in a weird way you feel like you're um, trimming off their fingers. Because as you walk by, they'll pull your hat off or they tickle you in the back. So it's just a weird feeling. I feel like I'm chopping his fingers off. But they'll grow back. <laughs> Let's get some good rhythm in that.
Here we go. Perfect. Thank you.